Hi everyone, it's Alan here once again. Yeah, just thought I'd bob on. Yeah, went out today. It's been absolutely freezing. Yeah, um, went round to Poundland today, and the and uh, yeah, there was a, an announcement on. Uh, um, on uh, on the TV, the uh, director of Tesco says that, says that the uh, food situation is going to get worse, and they're going to have um, price hikes, price hikes, and everything. Um, I've noticed it at the local Tesco. And so far, some of the other supermarkets haven't noticed it. And, uh, yeah, not too good of an announcement. I've got a funny feeling that the chappy at Tesco, head, heading up at Tesco, I don't think he's going to be there for much longer. Because the share price slumped. And uh, when the share price does slump, well, it's not good for the investors. It's not good for the shareholders, etc. Yeah, I've been, um, as I said, I've been walking around the town today. Uh, I should have done some footage, but my mum was with me. And uh, sometimes getting footage in the town is uh, can be a bit hit, is getting uh, a little bit hit and miss. Uh, Taylor's has turned up um, in Blackburn. Um, people are thinking of going to a fair. Um, Well, <laughs> the fur is not going to be going to be in its usual spot. Uh, then again, it might be because tailors have managed to get permission to uh, have a fur have a fur right in the centre of Blackburn. Uh, if you're thinking of going, it used to be the old it used to be the Fuertes it's, it's on the old Fuertes site if he decides to come to Blackburn uh, I don't know if PT Vlogs are coming to uh, Blackburn but uh, you know it's just one of those things one of the other things is I think uh well, I've got the TV on at the moment. I've got a bit of Ideal World on it. Oh, Ideal World on at the moment. They're doing watches at the moment. Yeah, they've got a, a Ferris wheel and one or two other, one or two other rides there. But to be truthful, I don't think they'll have a good turnout because uh, to be truthful, it's just too cold. It's just too cold it's absolutely f freezing i don't know when they're supposed to open and they've also got an extreme there uh one of them you know it swings up sort of thing one of them pendulum rides yeah uh that's um there and uh, there's one or two other i think there's an actually actually i think there's a super ball there as well i'm not too certain on the uh on the uh, ride uh, situation there but i definitely do know that there's like a modern fer modern variation of a ferris wheel i think they had that i think they had that written um a bit back it's the one where the uh um how can I put it? Um, 
where the lap board opened but I can't confirm that but uh, yeah I've also been getting a lot of uh, videos from Blackpool about all the um, all the construction work that's uh, going on there but uh, you know it's not going to change my opinion um, I'm waiting for the next survey um, uh, to come out I've heard they got one survey out that to Blackpool is the one of the most depressed places that there is um i don't know what blackburn's like because uh, i'm just i'm i'm gonna try and find out and uh yeah it's not too brilliant and i know that the council are trying to uh get the place cleaned up because they've got because they started not knocking down quite a fair bit of it you know i know some of i know quite a fair bit of cookson street has uh has gone and uh do you well and i think it's about time they started cleaning blackpool up a bit um because it needs it it's a shame that um what is it they haven't start they ha they haven't made well they have made a major start on the world car building and uh, the holiday inn well they've start well that's been uh, underway but uh, you know I've also been noticing they're not doing work on a Saturdays, Saturdays and weekends to get the to actually get these projects done. And I know that uh, people from Bonnie Market, Bonnie Street Market, have had to move out. Where they're going to go, I don't know. Um, but they are going to build a new Bonnie Street Market on the new site but i don't know if that's true or not but they're gonna to have to find somewhere for them as i said it's been absolutely freezing today and uh yeah i'm just waiting i'm just waiting for health well um george is in the other room is sat on the settee and uh yeah he went out uh today today and uh as soon as he came, went out he came back in again oh too cold too cold and uh well alf is out at the moment um at his other plate yeah well is uh is a two house cat is uh alfie um he comes here to stay the night and everything and during the day he goes somewhere else um we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that situation and uh, i see so like going doing a few blogs doing a few blogs about the world car, world car building and all that, the new one. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that Blackpool is actually getting um, some new stuff built. I've also there's another uh, YouTuber. She was showing um, uh, the old hotel that the pleasure beach used to use for the for the staff that's been knocked down now um 
And that's... I don't know what's going to go there. I think a new hotel's going to go there. Because... Quite... A, I'm going to be straightful and honest with you. A lot of the hotels are... In the Blackpool area... Are grotty. You know? Um, especially... The hotels owned by Britannia Group. Yeah. They're not very good. They're not very good stewards of uh, keeping their hotels clean and tidy. Um, I hear nightmares about some of their stuff. Well, you know, what What do you expect from a company that owns Pontins? Yeah. And you know, I've you know what the nightmare stories are like that, you know, but for those types of places. Um, during this week, coming up, weather permitting. Um, I'm thinking of giving Preston a visit to sit to find out how far. They've got with the high rise, um, but I have been hearing rumours that Preston City Council want to tear it down again because they're not happy on what's on what uh, the builders have been d have done so far. Um, also, I've been hearing that the um, that quite a few of the Manchester uh, developments have been given the green light, and so that's going to be a hell of a lot of construction work. And uh, yeah. And a survey was taken uh, about people taking these sort of types of premises. Well, they've been finding out that the people who have been taking them are between uh, mid twenty mid twenties to early thirties. Uh, are these people taking these uh, taking these apartments and uh, yeah who have uh, jobs in Manchester and Salford area yeah got to be on a good wage for that for those sorts of places um, there are quite a few I've heard about are going up going back up on the market to actually be sold for uh, not for uh, rent but for um, how can I put it is uh, to own um, yeah to own and I must admit when I went out today and had a walk around Blackburn I was a bit ashamed, really, um, when I walked round, you know, when I walked round, because, like, round Basswell and on the way down to town, uh, it was literally full. There was rubbish all, all all over the side, all over the side, on the, especially Lark Hill Lane, and other parts of the town I, I didn't dare go into Basswell today because it's it was absolutely as I said it was absolutely bitter cold and uh, yeah um, I've been watching some most of the uh, Blackpool blogs at the moment but the other thing is I don't I don't really get Many Blackburn bloggers. Um, if anybody out there knows any other Blackburn bloggers besides myself, 
Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below because uh, I'd like to find out who these bloggers are because the channels aren't that dominant on on YouTube, you know. And some of the when I do come across them, the videos are very old, very old, and they haven't had anything ported on them for donkeys, donkeys years. Um, yeah. So, if anybody knows of any YouTubers other than myself in Blackburn. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. And please try and keep your comments civil, please. I've had to delete quite a few of them. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to bugger off now and hopefully tomorrow we should get some some more videos done. So that's all for me tonight from me from now and uh, it's 3 2 1 click